But the White House says they will not be performing law enforcement work. Let's get over to Washington correspondent Jackie DeFusco joining us live now. Jackie, what does this mean for cities on the border and, and even beyond? Jackie, this all goes back to that public health emergency that is expiring on May 11th. Tied to that is the end of Title 42 that has been used more than 2 million times to expel migrants going back to the Trump administration. Migrant camps building up on the U.S. southern border as the end of pandemic era restrictions under Title 42 loom. Come next week, all hell is going to break loose. The border is not open. It has not been open and it will not be open subsequent to May 11th. Federal officials say they have a plan for a spike in border crossings up to 13,000 daily. They're sending additional troops and surging resources. We spoke to community organizations helping families with uncertain futures seek a second chance in the nation's capital. Do you think that the U.S. was prepared for this moment? Uh, no, they were not. Uh, uh, they should have been uh, ready with more resources for the municipal governments to address the issues as they were coming into their communities. Washington, D.C. is among the Democrat-led cities where GOP governors have been sending busloads of migrants for months. Abel Nunez with the Central American Resource Center says local services are strained ahead of an expected surge and federal policies are hindering migrants' ability to work legally. The U.S. has a right to control its borders, but you have to do it in a way that's humane, uh, that addresses people's dignity. Uh, and not try to punish them for trying to, you know, have a better life for themselves and their family. The Biden administration says it's speeding up initial reviews of asylum cases while promising consequences for illegal crossings. Those fleeing turmoil will still have to pass a credible fear screening before a court date is set. They actually have a chance of applying for asylum, whereas with Title 42, they weren't even given that chance. Facing what are often years long legal battles and a mounting backlog, a Utah immigration attorney, Julia Regal, says migrants are struggling to get legal help. They try calling all of the nonprofits and they're not able to find representation because everybody's at capacity. The Biden administration says that they're setting up processing centers in countries like Guatemala and Colombia where migrants can go and apply for legal settlement in the United States. Meantime, the Mexican government says they're going to continue accepting migrants from certain countries that are turned away at the southern border as part of a broader deal with that country earlier this week. Still, the GOP is urging the Biden administration to reverse course and keep Title 42 in place. Live in Washington, I'm Jackie DeFusco, WXII 12 News.